Hi friends today we will study fiber to fabric a fiber is a very thin thread like strand from which cloth is made fabric is made by knitting or weaving long twisted threads called yarns made from fibers different types of fabrics are used to make school uniforms shirts pants sarees shawls blankets etc there are different types of fabrics available the commonly used fabrics by us are cotton fabrics woolen fabrics silk fabrics and synthetic fabrics we usually use cotton fabrics during hot summers and woolen cloths during cold winters cloths made from silk fabrics and synthetic fabrics are most comfortable when the weather is neither very hot nor very cold yarn is a spun thread which is used for weaving or knitting fabrics what are fabrics made of fabrics are made of yarns which are in turn made from fibers if we look at a piece of a fabric closely we will find that fabric is made of a network of threads or yarns along the length and breadth of the fabric at right angles to one another if we take out a yarn from a piece of a cotton fabric and then place it on a table with one end is pressed with thumb and the scratch the other end of the yarn with the other thumb we will find that the piece of cotton yarn splits into thin strands of cotton called fibers fibers we have all seen a cotton cotton is a white soft and fluffy material if you hold a piece of cotton and pull it apart we will see a large number of very thin and tiny threads like strands in it these small and thin strands are called cotton fibers some of the examples of fibers are cotton wool silk flax jute nylon polyester and polyacrylic fibers are of two types natural fibers and synthetic fibers the fibers which are obtained from natural sources like plants and animals are called natural fibers example cotton wool silk flax and jute cotton flax and jute are the natural fibers obtained from plants whereas wool and silk are the natural fibers obtained from animals cotton flax and jute fibers are obtained from their respective plants while wool is obtained from sheep and silk fiber is obtained from silk worm the fibers which are prepared from chemical substances in, in industry are called as synthetic fibers some of the examples of synthetic fibers are nylon polyester like terylene and polyacrylic like orlan The synthetic fibers are much more stronger than natural fibers. The cloths made of synthetic fibers last for longer time. We can distinguish between the cotton, wool, silk and synthetic fabrics by performing the burning test as follows. Take a small piece of the fabric to be tested. Hold one end of the fabric with a pair of tongs and bring the other end of fabric over the flame of a burner. If the piece of fabric burns vigorously giving a smell of a burning paper then it is a cotton fabric If the piece of fabric burns giving a smell of a burning hair then it is a woolen fabric If the piece of fabric burns giving the smell of a charred meat then it is a silk fabric If the piece of fabric burns slowly giving the smell of burning plastic then it is a synthetic fabric Now let us study some plant fibers in some details cotton cotton is the most widely used natural fiber cotton fiber comes from the cotton plants which are grown in the fields by the farmers cotton crop is usually grown at places having black soil and warm climate the fruits of cotton plants called as cotton balls are of the size of lemons after maturing the cotton balls burst open to produce cotton seeds covered with white soft cotton fibers cotton is picked up from the plants in the fields usually by hand the cotton fibers picked from the fields have cotton seeds in them the cotton fibers are then separated from the seeds by the process called ginning cotton is mainly used for making fabrics which are used for making cloths and dresses etc cotton is also used for filling pillows mattresses and quilts flax flax is also 
a plant that gives natural fibers. The fibers obtained from flax plant are called flax fibers or just flax. The fibers are obtained from the stem of flax plant. The flax fibers are used for making fabric. The cloth made of stem fibers of flax is called linen. Linen is used for making bed sheets etc. Thus, in addition to cotton, flax plants are also cultivated in fields to obtain fibers for making fabrics. Jute Jute fiber is obtained from the stem of jute plant. Jute crop is cultivated in rainy season. Jute fiber is obtained from jute plant as following. The jute plants are harvested from the fields when they are at the flowering stage. The stems of harvested jute plants are immersed in water for few days. During this period, the stems rot and fibers are left behind. The jute fibers are separated from water by hands. Jute is a rough fiber, hence it is not used to make clothes. Jute is a strong fiber and it is used to make ropes and jute bags or gunny bags. The outer covering of a coconut has also some fibers on it. These are called coconut fibers. The coconut fibers are used for making ropes and mats. Making of fabrics The fabrics are made in two steps. Fibers are first converted to yarn by the process of spinning and fabric is made from yarn by the process of weaving and knitting. Let us study both this process in details. Making of yarn from fibers Yarn is made from fibers by the process of spinning. In this process of spinning, fibers from a mass of cotton or wool or silk are drawn out and twisted. This brings the tiny fibers together to form long and twisted thread called yarn. Thus, spinning converts fibers into yarn. We can understand the principle of making cotton yarn from cotton fiber as following. Hold a lump of cotton fibers in the left hand and now start pulling out cotton fibers continuously. We will get a cotton yarn, though it will not be a fine yarn. Yarn can be made from fibers by using three devices. Hand spindle, also called as takli in Hindi which is the simple device used for spinning cotton to make yarn. Spinning wheel or charka, which is very well associated with Mahatma Gandhi. And spinning machines, which are used to manufacture yarn at large scale in factories. Making fabrics from yarn. Fabrics are made from yarn by two main processes, weaving and knitting. Weaving. The process of making a fabric by arranging yarns passing in one direction with other yarns at right angle to them is called weaving. Thus, in weaving, two sets of yarns are woven to make a fabric. The weaving of yarn to make a fabric is done by using looms. There are two types of looms, hand looms which is worked by hands and power looms which are operated on electric power. Knitting In knitting, a single yarn is used to make a fabric. The process of making fabric by interlocking loops of single yarn with knitting needles or machines is called knitting. Knitting is done by hands and also on machines. The simplest example of making fabrics by knitting is making of sweaters. A sweater is made by the process of knitting by using a single woolen yarn with the help of a knitting needles at home or machines in factories. History of clothing material Today we wear clothes made of various types of fabrics to cover our bodies. However, in ancient times, no fabrics or clothing were available. So, in ancient times, people used the barks of trees, big leaves of trees, animal skin and furs to cover themselves. When people began to practice agriculture and settled at a places near the source of water like river, they learned to weave twigs and grass to make mats and baskets etc. After that, vines and animals fleas such as sheep's wool were twisted together to form long strands. These strands were then woven into fabrics. Ultimately, people started growing cotton and flax plants to obtain fibers for making fabrics. These crops were grown near sources of water like rivers, 
so as to get sufficient water for irrigation. For example, the early Indians grew cotton crops near river Ganga and in ancient Egypt, cotton as well as flax were grown near river Nile. In those days, stitching of fabric to make a wearable cloth was not known. People just draped the fabrics around the different parts of body to cover themselves. After the invention of sewing needle, people started stitching fabrics to make different types of cloths. In the beginning, the cloths used to be hand stitched, but these days sewing machines are used for quick stitching of clothes. Friends, that's all about fiber to fabric. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notifications on new videos. Thank you and all the best.